doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. I just finished watching Skipper and the Big Babysitting Adventure on Netflix, which was probably a little dangerous for me because I've already gone baby crazy with my little silicone baby Luna, who just so happens to be the same size as a Barbie baby. This is Joy, she was in the movie. Warning, this video might have a few spoilers. You have been warned. I didn't really see Joy with a lot of babies in the movie, so I guess they put this playset together just because. Joy was actually working at a concession stand before all the shenanigans got started. So I picked up this playset at Target. Here is Anna. She makes jewelry. This is Cherie. And of course, there is Skipper. So I guess we're doing a little Barbie haul. The Skipper Babysitter's Inc. crib was on sale recently for $18 and some change. Originally priced at $33, this is an oldie but goodie playset. We first reviewed it about three years ago when it was called the Nap and Nurture Nursery. The playset name has been removed, but all the pieces appear to be the same. There's a baby with a little bouncy seat that rocks, a rocking horse, bottle warmer, bottles, a bear, baby wipes, a stack of plastic diapers, a crib with storage underneath, a changing table, a Fisher Price blanket, a crib attachment that is removable and can be used as a little play mat on the floor, and a skipper doll with the basic five points of articulation. The face screening looks pretty good, and of course she has her purple highlights. But I just gotta know how all of this looks with our miniature silicone baby. And it totally works. On the bouncy seat, I'm going to remove the little waist bracket because I don't want it to squeeze little Luna and possibly damage her. But she totally fits. The changing area is a little small, but she easily fits inside the crib. And the bottles are totally compatible. With these items, we can totally set up a miniature room. This little crib here was in the movie. However, it was a lot larger than what we are getting in the playset. This playset can be found with Skipper wearing one of her outfits from the movie and with Anna. This little crib is another repeat accessory. We have it in turquoise with a pink mobile. The little animals hanging from it are the same, just in different colors. In the movie, it came up to about Skipper's hip, but in the playset, it's below her knee. Anna comes with black hair and blue highlights. This doll has large brown eyes and is a little pixelated. Her shirt and skirt are sewn together. It's solid in the back with no opening, and she has yellow sneakers. I'm totally going to use all of these accessories with my Barbies. We get another bear, this time it's blue. It is the same shape as the one that comes with the crib. There's a white bottle, a folded over piece of cardstock that is meant to look like a book, a tiny rectangle of fabric. I don't think it's large enough to be a blanket. There's a baby with a fabric diaper. We can feed it the bottle and its eyes close. That's actually kind of cool. But its eyelashes are still on the top of its eyelids. And we get a pacifier, which is one of the main reasons I wanted this playset. So I could give it to little Luna, who can fit in the little crib. And we could totally switch the mobiles. They come off pretty easily, so we can match it to the crib. But seriously, why are there always so many colors? Like, why is that bar pink? Why couldn't it have just been white? And what's up with these? Personally, I would have loved if the drawer and the shelf under the bed were also white to match the crib, and then maybe the little cushion for the changing table would match the bed. But that's just me. And here is the stroller with four colors. Sorry, I need to stop. We have seen this stroller before, but it's a really cute design and I'm glad it's still around. Here it is with Skipper, and here it is with Chantal, I assume. 
That's the name of one of Skipper's friends in the movie, so I'm going with it. Both come with a doll in a flower print dress. However, the colors are slightly different. They have the same shoe in different colors, and the dress does open in the back with Velcro. And yes, Barbie can fit the dress. It is a little short, but I think we might rock it this summer. Skipper's stroller is purple and pink with turquoise handles. She comes with a baby with red hair and a pink diaper, sunglasses, which I would have gladly traded for another baby accessory. There's a little elephant baby toy, a purple bear, and an orange bottle. Oh yeah, and a tiny piece of pink fabric. Skipper's friend Chantal comes with a pink and turquoise stroller with a purple handle. A baby with brown hair and a pink diaper. By the way, all these babies do have a little articulation. They have movement at the shoulder and at the hip. We get purple sunglasses. You all know already how I feel about these. A pink bear, turquoise bottle, an orange elephant toy, and a little rectangle of blue fabric. I got both of these play sets because we can remove the handles and the bar at the bottom. Ah, got it. Then trade the pieces with the other stroller to change up the colors, if that matters to you. Luna can fit inside the little carrier and the stroller is tall enough for a Barbie. And I'm loving these little baby toys. So much that I picked up these two play sets. This one is an oldie but goodie that I misplaced. So I had to buy it again on Amazon. It was about $10. It's another little play mat that comes with another pink bear. We do get a little turtle with wheels that spin, a ball, and a little wiggly baby who can move at the waist. Aw, the baby's crawling. And we can place a little baby underneath as well. I picked this one up at Target. It was also about $10. Here we get a baby with a fabric shirt that Velcros in the back. And when we push the bow on the top of its head, you can see its teeth. We get a little chair with a tray that snaps on and it has a little cup holder to fit a cup. There's a toothbrush, toothpaste, I'm guessing a rag, another pink bear, a blue bottle, and my two favorite pieces, painted toys. They go perfectly with the little play mat. Now these two play sets are from the movie collection. We have the Skipper Big Babysitting Adventure logo right there. We get a toddler with fabric clothes, and removable shoes, a table and chair set, a bowl, milk carton with no label, and a juice box. We get another rag or cloth napkin and a giant spoon. Hmm, maybe it's supposed to be a serving spoon. The other playset comes with Erica. She was in the movie. He was in the movie too, I just don't remember his name. Here's Erica's dress on a baby, in case you were wondering, Erica comes wearing undies that are the same as the diapers. We get another small square fabric, which I think might be a rag or some kind of hand towel. An orange hairbrush, I guess it's for Skipper. A drink, I think. A bottle of soap. A small toilet that can open. Yep, there it goes. The lid can come up and there's toilet paper on the side and there's a little toddler seat to go on it. So our dolls can experience all the joys of potty training. And here's Joy to lend a helping hand. Dressed in her outfit from the movie, she has brown hair with blonde highlights. She's a tiny bit pixelated, but not much. She comes wearing a pink top with smiley faces, a purple and white skirt, they are two separate pieces with no openings in the back. And she has white shoes. She comes with a baby with a cloth shirt and diaper, another giant spoon, blue bear, a yellow jar of baby food, a lavender bottle, and a fuzzy 
rectangle of fabric. Here is her outfit on a Barbie. The shirt was a little difficult to get on, but the skirt was easy. Joy can also be found in this playset, Barbie Skipper First Jobs, where it looks like she's working at a concession stand. The picture on the back of the box shows a tan stand, while the one I have is kind of lavender. I would have loved to have seen the tan, but that's just a personal preference. The bottom of the stand has a wood grain. There is a little storage area underneath. There's a white counter, a register. However, my sticker is crooked. A silver colored drink dispenser, which I like, and it looks like there's a small menu at the top. We have bananas, a normal sized fork and spoon, a squirt bottle that we can fill with cold water to add chocolate syrup to the ice cream. I'm not a huge fan of playing with water with my toys because as an adult doll collector, it's just not something that I need. Just gets all messy, but we'll try to do it anyway. See, and I never can do it right. I'm just gonna use a little ice and there you go. Yeah, it changes color and then it changes back. But we're getting a waffle bowl filled with strawberry ice cream. We also get a pretzel, a drink, a bar, and a tray. The included doll comes with a dress with a printed apron on the front, and it is solid in the back. And she wears white sneakers. The counter on this playset appears to be shorter than a standard Barbie counter. Hmm. I think a Skipper doll is the perfect height, actually, for a Barbie stand. Maybe we can just put the small Skipper stand in the back. Here's Anna again. Once again, she has dark hair with blue highlights. Her eyes are a little pixelated and a little shiny. She has a little tag, wears a striped dress with hearts, diamonds, and lightning bolts, pink shoes, comes with a little jewelry kiosk with lots of little earrings and attachments. There's a bottle of alcohol. I think that's a pen or a marker to know where to do a piercing. I could be wrong. And there's a little clear jar of cotton balls, which I love, and the top is removable. The case opens. There are plastic necklaces inside. There is also a blue chair and a little device where we can add an earring post and a little attachment, then place it into the doll's already pierced ears. Come on. Ah. Did we get it? Yay, we did it. And she has a second ear piercing at the top of her ear. So with this playset, we can have fun creating our own custom earring looks. In the comments, one of you wanted to know which made to move body will this doll match? Looks like the AA soccer player to me. Since we have two, let's go ahead and give it a try. I place the dolls in a plastic bag, then into hot water until the head is soft enough to be removed. Oh, come on. Then place it onto the new body to give Anna an older sister. The head swap does widen the bottom of the face a little, so she's a little more square than round. And here's Cherie, whose dream job is working at a doggy daycare. She has brown hair with pink in the back, she has brown eyes and is a little shiny and pixelated. She comes wearing a t-shirt with half of an image that looks like a, one of those Barbie extra pets. Blue shorts. The shirt and shorts are two separate pieces and the shirt velcros in the back. She has white shoes, comes with a dog on a leash, a pet bowl, orange frisbee, blue water bottle, and a yellow cell phone. In the movie, we learn that the dog is a robot, which gives me a theory. Hear me out. On her shirt, there's a picture of a Barbie extra pet, right? Maybe they have been robots this whole time, and that would explain their cartoony appeal. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Wow, we looked at a lot of stuff today. The stuff for Luna is definitely some of my faves. And I like the little jewelry kiosk. I'll probably be adding those cotton balls to my doll's vanity. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few Barbie items on the shelf. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell 
and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.